Salzburg is steeped in history. In the year 700, its Bavarian rulers gave control of Salzburg to the local bishop in return for his promise to defend and expand Christianity in the area. Salzburg remained an independent state for over a thousand years until it surrendered to Napoleon. Thanks to its formidable fortress and its knack for remaining neutral, the city managed to avoid the ravages of war until World War II. While much of the new part of town, on the far side of the river, was destroyed by World War II bombs, the historic old town survived. The new town has the big business and train station, but the old town, sitting between the Salzach River and a hill called Monksburg, holds nearly all the charm and most of the tourists. With around 8 million visitors prowling its cobbled lanes each year, Salzburg can feel pretty touristy. You don't go to Salzburg to avoid the tourists. You go to experience a town which, in spite of the crowds, is thoroughly enjoyable. Most of the happy tourists probably wouldn't be here if not for the man honored by this statue. Wolfgang Mozart spent much of his first 25 years in Salzburg, one of the greatest Baroque cities north of the Alps. For centuries, Salzburg's leaders were both important church authorities and political rulers. They were prince archbishops, combining both political and religious power. The energetic Prince Archbishop Wolf Dietrich, who ruled around the year 1600, had the greatest impact on the town. Wolf Dietrich was raised in Rome, counted the powerful Medicis in Florence as his buddies, and had grandiose Italian ambitions for Salzburg. His goal? To build the Rome of the North. This square, with its striking cathedral and Italian-style palace, was the centerpiece of his Baroque dream city. A series of interconnecting squares lead from here through the old town. This fountain could be straight out of Italy. The Triton matches Bernini's famous Triton Fountain in Rome. Lying on a busy trade route connecting Northern Europe with the South, Salzburg was well aware of the exciting things going on in Italy. Things Italian were respected and in vogue. Some Northern artists even Italianized their names in order to raise their rates.